So I've gotten a new interest related to fatigue, and it's not one that I was ever expecting to have, but it just sort of found me, right? And it is um, family dynamics and uh, narcissism, narcissistic personality disorder, and um, just, I guess, the narcissistic spectrum, because I would, I guess I'm, I would say that it's a spectrum. And um, so why did I get into this? My boyfriend um, broke up with me <laughs> in a rather interesting manner. Um, it was actually <laughs> very poetic because uh, here's my little s stretchy toy, but it, it we it was like a recapitulation of exactly what happened when we were getting together happened like the same way all over again except this time we broke up. So anyway, um, it's been difficult, but it's allowed me to sort of think about him from more distance and. Even though we uh, we still talk every day, <laughs> there's just some something's changed, and I can look at it with more objectivity or kind of think about the things I've never thought about before. And one of the first things I did after we broke up was I was like, "What is it? What was it about our relationship? Or what was it about him? There was something that I could never get other people to understand, but I was like, there's something going on here." And I looked online on Amazon for books about narcissism, and uh, I found. This book, um, you might be a narcissist if. I think this is the best one that I've found, and because um, it's, you know, a lot of narcissism books are just like, oh, narcissists are these very extreme people that you can't hope to change them ever, like, you know, and you have to like watch out that you don't become self-righteous, that you're not the narcissist, whatever. Um, I didn't find that so helpful. This one is better because it talks about it more as like a, you know behaviors that we can all fall into to a greater or lesser degree. And it really goes into um, how it can be related to, you know, your family situation and how these things can all fit together. Like, the parents were one way and so the children ended up having these other traits and then they get together with people who have the opposite kind of parents and so, um, and they also have a questionnaire in here for narcissistic behaviors and um, traits and I, actually I would say yes to some of these myself, um, especially while I have one, but just, just things like, um, you know, just taking it really hard if people criticize me, and, um, just, you know, wanting to be special or wanting to be somebody, and, you know, and I, I think sometimes it's interesting if you're gifted, because, um, just in recognizing, oh, you know, a normal, natural thing about yourself, oh, I'm gifted, it starts to seem like, oh, are you like a narcissist thinking you're better than other people? But, it's just, I, th I just think that sometimes it's just, you know, recognizing reality and you don't have to put a value judgment on it. Because I, I think, honestly, being gifted um, can make life a lot harder. <laughs> it can just make it hard to fit into a world that's designed for um, other types of people. Unless you're really lucky and you get some of those, you know, math professor position or, you know, something awesome like that. But um, it's just, anyway back to narcissism. <laughs> I guess I'm trying to be open here. I mean, it's a non-narcissistic trait to be open about my potential flaws, but about my relationship and fatigue and narcissism. So when I met my boyfriend, it was just like, wow. Like it was, I mean, we have a really awesome connection and I've never had that kind of connection with anybody, but it was also just this sort of like, like, you know, seventh, <laughs> I was going to say seventh generation, I was trying to think of like the X-Files, of just, it just felt like it fit really well, like strangely well, and now, now that I have some more experience, I'm starting to think that when something fits that well, you have to think, is this person like my parents? <laughs> is this person like any of my parents? And, um, because I, my theory is that, uh, you know, my dad was a little bit of a narcissist, and I got used to that, and now I'm, you know, I dated a narcissist for six years, and, I mean, I don't want to say a narcissist, but, you know, people who sort of act like that, or that's sort of their default, they're very nice people, and I guess I, the thing I want to say is that I used to think narcissism meant just being selfish and bad on purpose, but it's not that, it's much more, um, and I can really... Uh, related to this because of what I've gone through for, because of fatigue and Lyme, it's just sort of feeling like you don't have a choice. This is just, you have to do it this way. Um, 
you have to watch out for yourself. You have to be right. You have to let people know how you feel. You have to, you know, let people know that your needs are important. Because what's going to happen if you don't? Oh, that's a disaster. It's sort of like I can relate to that with Lyme because a lot of times I'm like, no, you really need to turn the music down. This is going to give me ear ringing. Or, you know, no, I, you really, I can't eat that. Or, you, you know, you can't touch me there. That hurts. Or, you know, so um, I sort of know that feeling of like, I don't care what your needs are. <laughs> like, I have a survival need here. I have, like, I'm, in, you know, in danger. So, um, but going back to the relationship, um, just in the, what I think was very telling is that my boyfriend was excited to find someone who was willing to change. Um, he, when we met, he was like, oh boy, finally someone who's willing to improve themselves in the ways that I think that they should improve themselves. And he's calling right now. Um, I'm going to call back. Um, okay, and I think that that's sort of narcissist tend to think that other people are flawed, other people are not good enough, so it must be exciting when you find someone who's like, oh sure, I'll change myself. So there was a lot, it felt almost like I was like entering an apprenticeship with a superior being and he was going to teach me how to become what he thought was good, and which was the standard for society, because it's always about like, what's the standard? So, um, and I was very, very open to that because ironically, my eating disorders treatment had really predisposed me to be open to people telling me how to be normal. Um, and also just, I was, you know, I was anorexic when we met. And um, I was getting over it on my own because I was, you know, making more friends and getting back into more challenging um, math at college where I had to be eating more just to be able to take my classes. Um, it must be my mom. Anyway, I'll finish this video later.